This will be a drop test of the iPhone 12. Brand new, still in the packaging, still in the plastic wrapper. Just literally came from the Apple store, stood in line for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I was a little late to my appointment, so they made me wait and stuff, but end of the day, got my phone and here it is. So this will just be a real quick drop test. Let me show you the setup real quick. So right now I'm filming with the Sony a6600, it's my main camera. And then so over here to my left, it's the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So I'm gonna try to film in the super slow-mo on that phone. May or may not work, we'll see. And then here to my right, it's the iPhone 11 Pro Max from last year. I'm gonna film in the slow-mo on this camera or in that camera, I should say. All right, anyway, so let's go ahead and have a peek this iPhone. So I do dig the smaller box this year, just from a form factor standpoint, easier to hold and stuff to transport. What sucks is it does not have a charger. So that kind of sucks, but most of us have chargers laying around, right? So, ooh, look at this. Got the blue one of the iPhone 12. Check this out. So you can see brand new in the box. Take this off. Here's the phone. Man, that's nice. Hold on a second, let me look at this real quick. Too bad I'm gonna drop it on this concrete, but wow. That is a beautiful blue. Very nice. Maybe I'm taking three to five drops. One from like pocket height. One from like, I'm gonna say head level. I'm about six foot tall. So around that level, right? And then also maybe an extra drop from some undetermined height at this point. And also they're saying that this phone now has 4X tougher glass on this phone, right? Apparently this is like infused with ceramic or something like that. So I don't know, we'll see what that's about. Can it withstand concrete? So you can see. All right, man, let's get started. All right, first drop is gonna be from pocket level. Brand new iPhone 12. Let's go do this. Three, two, one, and let's go. Oh boy, let's take a look at the damage incurred here. Doesn't look too bad at first, but let's find out. Oh man, and I'm not seeing anything. Wow, look at that. It's clean, oh, I take that back. There's some scuffs here on the metal frame. On the, this is aluminum frame or aluminum. All right, so it's not too bad though. The glass hasn't shattered yet. Have a look at all corners of the device. Ooh, I'll try to get in here, see that little scuff right there. Let me try to clean this out. Actually, no, it cleaned right off. Look at that. Not too bad. All right, pretty durable so far. Huh. Nice, we'll take a look at the display. Let me clean all this dirt off. Yeah, the display is still looking pretty good. Not bad. All right, you know what, let's do a, uh, let's do that drop again. All right, we'll do this again. Pocket height, I'm gonna drop it right now. In three, two, one, let's go. Woo! Woo! All right, let's take a look at damage incurred on this drop. Oh boy. All right, I don't think the phone actually flipped over, so we'll take a look at the backside. I have to say, it's pretty good. All right, let me clean the back a little bit. So just cleaning it on my pants. Oh man, I have to say, look at that. No cracks on the lens. Now what is this, a little bit of a scuff here on the middle frame? It's not too bad. I'll probably clean right out, actually. Damn. It's pretty good, dude. Display is looking pretty nice, still. All right, so I think let's uh, increase the height now. All right, iPhone 12, this is head height, about six feet up in the air. Let's do this. In three, two, one. Woo! 
right on its backside. That was like the perfect drop. Wow. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Now it landed straight on its back. Now, do I really want to flip this phone over? Now, I have to say though, I haven't looked at the back yet. The back feels smooth. I'm not feeling any cracks in the gloss or anything, right? So let's uh, flip this bad boy over and we'll see. Oh, still not cracked. Wow, look at that. That's still clean AF, man, damn. Let's take a look at the camera lens though. Let's have a closer look, I'm gonna zoom in. And the camera lens are clean, or is still clean. Look at that. I'm not seeing any damage. Take a look at the reflection, have a look for yourself. That is clean. And you saw the drop, it's straight on its backside from about six feet. Gotta say, quite impressive. Now what is this on the corner though? Oh boy. Some damage here on the corner. Have a look at that. I have to say, not too bad, man. Kind of impressed. All right, you know what? Let's do that drop again. iPhone 12, six foot drop on its backside. Three, two, one, and let's do it. All right, let's take a look at the device. Here we go, I'm gonna pick this up. The glass still feels smooth. I'm gonna flip it over. Oh! All right, I'm starting to see some cracks. All right. So it is cracked, so you can see. Let's try to get in here. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see that. You have some cracks in the display. And look at this, it's a crack right across the Apple logo. To be honest with you, I'm actually quite impressed because how many drops was that? It's like the third drop on the backside and then finally cracked. Gloss is gloss and gloss will break. Take a look at the camera lens. Some damage here on the top lens. Let me try to clean that out. Have a look. Still feels smooth for the most part. Put a skin on this phone, you're good to go. All right, we'll take a look at the front. And then the front, still pretty good. All right, so I think the next drop should be from six feet on the front display. We'll see what happens. Three, two, one, and let's drop. Woo! Woo! All right, let's have a look at this. All right. There's the back, it's already cracked, as you saw earlier. I'm gonna flip this phone over. So I'm gonna turn this off. And the display still looks pretty clean. There's no cracks across the display or anything. Now I am seeing some damage here on the corners. Let's see if I can clean this off. Clean it off a little bit, but take a look at this. Take a look at that. A little bit of damage there. Cool. All right, I say we do it one more time. Why not? Let's do it. Three, two, one, and let's drop. Let's have a look at this. Hello, okay, turn the display off. And again, I am not seeing any cracks. What is this? Swipes right off. Let's see, got some damage there on the corners. As I expected. Well, the glass hasn't cracked yet. All right, I'm gonna see if I can crack this display. It's looking pretty good so far. So let's see, I'm thinking now that I just try to drop this phone. Let's see, where can I get on? Little steps right here, you see that? I can stand right there, maybe drop it in that area, right next to that cart. I don't know how high that is. I don't know, maybe 12 feet or so. 
You know what, let's do that. Let's go. All right, here's the phone. There's my two phones right there on the ground. All right, so let's drop this. Face down, screen on, iPhone 12, drop number, I don't know, four or five, I forget. From unknown height, I'm gonna say 12 feet or so. So let's do it. I'm just gonna try to go like this, all the way up here, as you can see, as far as I can go up. And then I'm just gonna point at the ground so you can see it. Three, two, one, and let's drop. Oh man, look at that. Okay, I gotta, I gotta take a look at this right now. All right, I'm gonna turn off the recording here. Off on the Samsung. Oh boy. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have, should not have done that drop. <laughs> look at this. That is cracked. Well, like they said, glass is glass and glass will break, even with ceramic infusion. All right, this is future me, back inside now, back on my desk. We'll take a look at the damage on this phone from the drop test earlier. Take a look at the back glass. Now, surprisingly enough, looking at the dual cameras right here, the glass on the camera is pretty much unscathed. And there's a little bit of damage here on the frame on top. But other than that, pretty much, got away with no damage. You would think that that would be the first part that would damage the back of the phone since it's sticking out that much. Have a look, but I guess not in this particular case. However, the rest of the phone or the rest of the back of the phone from one third of the way down, have a look, not looking so, not looking so fire. We'll take a look at the frame. The frame is pretty much still mint condition. Have a look. Still clean, a little bit of damage on this corner. And, and this looks pretty clean on this corner. We'll take a look at this one, still clean. And a little bit of damage on this one. It's not too bad. So the frame is, i say still 9.5 out of 10. But let me know in the comments, what is this right here? I don't know what that is. Let me know. All right, now let's flip this over to the front and oh boy, look at that right there. Now this happened on the very last drop, I think it was about 15 feet or so. It's a pretty high drop. But the display still does work, kinda sorta. So you can see right there, kinda sorta still works. I can still turn off the phone if I go like this and have a look at that, see? You could probably still make an emergency call if you absolutely had to. So it's not completely dead. I think with a brand new screen, I think this phone still has life. You know, don't drop your phones. Put a case on it, put a skin on it, put a screen protector on it, put something on it, right? It doesn't matter what kind of glass is on there, ceramic infused, whatever Apple says. Put a screen protector on it, like I said, a case. Do something to protect your investment. Don't be like me and drop your phones. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Don't try this at home. If you got yourself an iPhone 12, congratulations. Now protect that bad boy. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.